Hello all. So let's continue with the next part of this tutorial. So let's get started. So as you have seen over here, we have started with this interior modeling over here. So let's continue it. So let's uh, put one more loop over here and let's duplicate this. So before duplicating this stuff over here, I'll, I'll put one more loop over here. I'll go into this polygons and I'll bridge it. And let's duplicate this. So okay. So before duplicating this stuff, what I'll be doing over here is like oops, it got crashed. So let's place a loop over here. So let's place a loop and let's place a loop over here. Press 4. Select this both and use a bit of inset. So you can just go into this and you can check the inset amount and use a bridge option over here just select this and duplicate it over here better save your files so open the reference file over here I'm sorry so let's go into rendering vmh file and open the reference file over here So I'll just go over here and I'll make the table over here. So, so the table height we can keep it as around one and a half feet to two feet. So auto grid on off the grid make it shaded draw so set the height as 2 feet and or you can make it to 2 point five feet and the uh, length we can keep it as two feet or one point five feet the length Alright, so now what I can do is I'll just lift it up from the ground half feet up. You can shift it half feet up and just push it right there. Let's increase it a bit. All right.
All right, now let's convert to editable poly and let's go into the swift loop over here. So let's add one more loop over here. So let's go into the edge over here, the center edge, loop it and you can just extrude it, you can just extrude it uh, inside. That's it, okay, alright. So. Now go over here, again let's go into the edge, oh first change this color, I don't like this color, so select this, uh, let's put three edges, you want the three edges, you can just put three edges over here and let's put one one again connect over here or you can just go over here so let's go into this press alt and q that's your isolation mode so let's isolation mode over here again go over here into the swift loop All right. Okay. So so I isolated. Alright, save your file. Now let's again get back over here and let's go to the top view and let's make again a box over here. So I'll just off this auto grid. I'll make a box over here. Convert to editable poly. Let's go into the vertices. Push this over here. Again, let's go into the edges. So, before doing this stuff, what we'll be doing is like I'll just go into this vertices, just push this up, push it onto the top. Let's go into the <coughs> edges over here and just connect it. Just take four loops. Select this, scale it, select this, scale it, alright, now, so let's uh, select the faces, select this and this face and let's use a bit of extrude over here and just say and isolate. So let's go into this and I think you can just uh, push this a bit down and just push this a bit down and select the vertices. Just push it. And push it. Up it. All right. So save your file <coughs> again. 
so I am doing this. So keep on saving the files as you have seen in your code. It gets crashed sometimes. Alt Q. Just in isolated. Now uh, we'll create the things which are on the top of it. So before that, let's create this frames over here. So for creation of these frames, let's take a box over here. Let's go on to this view. Um, use the auto grid option over here. And create this frames so just select this over here scale it push it a bit more inside over here and just convert to editable poly again select this insert it click ok and use a bit of bevel push it inside click ok so I'll go into this and I'll use a bit of swift loop over here so I'll select this loop and I'll just push this out and I'll use a bit of chamfer to it to give a bit of a roundish look over here so just click ok over here so once you have created this frame uh, just push this down and duplicate this over here that's it alright so save your file again let's go into the camera view and you can just check this so we can shift the camera angle afterwards Alright, so save your file again. So let's create a Mac over here. So for that, let's take a chamfer box over here. Let's take a chamfer box. It's definitely cover covering the maximum of the area. So let's reduce its height and uh, fill it. Reduce its height as maximum as possible. Just scale a bit over here. So you can just scale a bit over here. Just push this in this way. So you can just give a good carpet texture. So you can take a carpet texture. Let's just see how it looks like. Or you can take a mat or whatever. I know we can assign the texture afterwards also. So. Alright, so this looks much better. So 
so we can just save this and just assign it so we'll come to the texturing part afterwards so I'll just Definitely this white part will be removed. Okay. Just for now assign this. <coughs> Save your files. Alright, now for this table. Oh, sorry, before this, what we'll be doing is we'll be creating this for creation of this vase and the other things which are on the table. So let's take a line tool over here, use a line over here. So let's take a line. Uh, so after taking a line over here, you can just push it a bit inside and you have a modifier called lathe modifier so let's give a lathe modifier over here so sorry a lathe modifier so after giving a lathe modifier let's go into this and alignment make it as a max over here so can go into this vertices so activate this option and we can go down and just push it in this way all right you can just push this up and you want just not a big right click refine you can add a refine over here a bit to look more smoother and just push it in this way all right so just push this over here and let's give a shell modifier and push it on to the top just reduce its thickness and right click convert to a editable point that's it so you can just place this object right over here so alright so let's save your file you can just go to the camera and save so we'll continue the rest of the part in the next tutorial so thanks for watching this tutorial